This screencast is on market disequilibrium. In this screencast, we're going to define a surplus and a shortage. We'll also calculate on a graph the size of the surplus and the shortage. And we'll also understand how prices adjust to restore back to equilibrium when markets are experiencing these imbalances. In this case here, we have the SOC market. Um, and for the SOC market, you can see that the equilibrium price is $10 and the equilibrium quantity is $25. If the price were to drop down to $7, we would draw a line over and we can see that the quantity supplied at $7 is at 20. And that's because of the law of supply. As price goes down, the quantity supplied goes down. The quantity demanded at $7 is at 28. And that's because as the price went down from 10 to $7, the quantity demanded went up from 25 to 28. This is a disequilibrium that has been created. And that is because at the price of $7, the quantity demanded is greater than the quantity supplied. When the quantity demanded is greater than the quantity supplied and there's an insufficiency in the market, a shortage is created. You can calculate the size of the shortage by looking at the difference between the quantity demanded and the quantity supplied. At $7, the quantity demanded is 28, and the quantity supplied is 20. So 28 minus 20 gives you a shortage of 8 units. If the price were instead at $10 to rise to $15, what we would find in this instance here is that the quantity demanded at $15 would be 12, and the quantity supplied would be 40. There's an imbalance that's created here known as a surplus because the quantity supplied is greater than the quantity demanded. You can calculate the size of the surplus by subtracting the quantity supplied from the quantity demanded at $15. And that's where you have 40 quantity supplied minus 12 of the quantity demanded to give you a surplus of 28 units. When disequilibrium occurs, Prices will adjust to restore that equilibrium in the market. Um, this comes back to Adam Smith with the invisible hand. And over time, there'll be a signal if there's a shortage that the quantity demanded is exceeding the quantity supplied. And so the price will ration out those that are not willing and able to buy it below $10. And it will work its way up to the equilibrium point of $10 and 25 pairs of socks. In the surplus, the prices will adjust. In this case here, because you have a quantity supplied that's greater than the quantity demanded, producers will want to lower the price. And they will continue to lower the price up until the point where you're at $10, because that is where you're at market equilibrium, where quantity demanded equals quantity supplied at 25 pairs of socks.